The changes in the N1 electrical trade theory syllabus take effect from January 2021. The majority of the changes have to do with the reorganizing of sections and modules and the order in which sections appear within the new syllabus. Compared to the N1 book you know, a few sections have been reorganized and have moved around, but the content hasn't changed too much. Module 1 hasn't changed, but has been renamed Safety Precautions. Module 2 now focuses entirely on fire and firefighting, whereas before this was part of safety and basic hand tools. The section previously known as Basic Hand Tools is now called Hand and Power Tools and stands alone as Module 3. Module 4 focuses entirely on direct current circuit theory. Previously, this was part of a module on batteries and direct current sources. Module 5 is all about conductors and insulating materials. This used to be the seventh module. The wiring of premises is the focus of Module 6, formerly the eighth module. Module 7 has remained the same, and the focus is on the testing of a single-phase installation. Module 8 is about magnetism and electromagnetism. Alternating current theory used to have its own module, but theory on this topic is now covered in this module. Module 9 is a new section which focuses on renewable energies. Renewable energy is the new buzzword used when people speak about saving our planet from destruction. In order for us to be able to conserve this planet for the next few generations, we will have to treat it with respect. The use of green energy will have to become the order of the day. A greater emphasis will have to be placed on renewable energy, with all its benefits to humans and the planet as a whole. The two sub-modules of this new module focus on the types of renewable energy and its advantages. These are the learning outcomes for this new module. Define renewable energy. Identify different types of renewable energy. Explain the following terms. Climate change, fossil fuel, greenhouse gas, and state the benefits of renewable energy. Pay attention to definitions of key terms and emphasize these words and concepts so that students become familiar and can perform well in the exercises and national exams. You'll also find all these definitions in the student book and lecture guide glossaries for easy reference. The weightings of each module are indicated in your lecturer guide. This is a useful tool for knowing which sections and modules are the most important in terms of the exam. You'll see that the modules on direct current circuit theory and the wiring of premises have the biggest weightings of 30% and 25% respectively. The lesson plan templates in your lecturer guide will help you organize your teaching schedule in such a way that you'll know how to allocate adequate time to the relevant sections. This includes a breakdown of how many hours to spend on each module and will help you know the focus week by week. We hope this video has helped you become more familiar with the changes to the N1 Electrical Trade Theory Syllabus.